Aquinas understands conscience in a way similar but also different from the modern conception of conscience. Many of us grew up with the favorite famous animated uh, movie Pinocchio and every time Pinocchio was faced with a difficult moral question Jiminy Cricket would always come down with his umbrella and say to him the adage you know let your conscience be your guide and there's truth to that all of us use or make an act of conscientious judgment but where we often fall short in our understanding of conscience is that we think that conscience is an autonomous uh, moral barometer that is impervious to correction, to error. It's almost a self-sustained uh, moral guide that's beyond any education and above all reproach. But for Aquinas, this is not the case. Aquinas is very clear. He defines conscience. He says that conscience is the application of knowledge to something. It's the order of knowledge to something. And so then we can see in this definition, in the Summa Theologiae, three elements that Aquinas identifies in an act of conscience. It's an application of knowledge to an action. It's the application of knowledge to a particular action. Now, application shows us that conscience isn't a power. It's not an autonomous uh, resource in our soul. It's like we have the intellect and the will and then conscience. No, 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 no. Conscience is actually an act of our intellect vis-a-vis -vis a particular action. Now, there are three different types of actions. There are past actions. There are present actions. And there are future actions. With regard to present actions, Aquinas says conscience, which is the application of knowledge to a present action, is the, the awareness that we're doing something. We could say even that any knowledge, like we say, I wasn't conscious of doing that. Uh, this relates to conscience and it shows that any deliberate human action is an act that we are conscient about, we are aware of, we have knowledge about. With regard to past actions, which is what we typically think about, uh, the type of actions we typically associate with conscience, conscience, uh, the act of conscience, evaluates past actions and either justifies that past action, yes, I did something good here, or it uh, criticizes us, condemns us. I did bad here. With regard to future actions, conscience spurs us on to a possible future action uh, that is either good or bad. And towards good future actions, conscience makes a judgment and says, do this. With possible future bad actions, conscience says, this would not be good. Do not do this. Um, but for Aquinas, Conscience is the application of some knowledge to an action. An act which is either present, the awareness that I'm doing something, past, did I do good or did I do bad in the past, or with regard to the future, should this action occur, would it be good or would it be bad? So conscience for Aquinas is an act of judgment. It's the application of knowledge to a particular act. <music>